Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. And in this video, I was lucky enough to interview my sister fan, Louis11. Yeah, normally I'd do this over Zoom, but the connection was a bit iffy, so he just recorded some clips for me from my questions that I asked, so a massive thanks to him for that. But quickly, before we do get into this video, everyone go follow his Instagram, which will be linked in the description, and his YouTube, top class bloke. Thank you for coming on the channel once again. But the first question is quite a simple one. What do you do on your channel? Right, hi guys, it's Louis11. Lewis has kindly asked me onto his channel to answer a few questions ahead of the game. So um, the first one was just what I do over on my channel. So it's just a lot of Manchester City content. I have my YouTube channel, which is Louis11, it's about LouisXI. And then I have my Instagram account too, which is TalkMCFC. And that's like kind of the bigger account. But on my YouTube, I'm trying to start to do more general football and general streams as well as just City too. Is what key threats do you have at Manchester City? Obviously, there's loads, so it'll be interesting to see what you have. All right, so the first question is what the key threats are at City. So I'd probably say, especially for this game, if Phil Foden starts, Foden, because how much energy he brings to the team, how much he has. Um, obviously, Kevin De Bruyne, too, because it's just the obvious selection. And at the back, Ruben Diaz. I know it's not a threat, but he would just hold our defence together and keep it nice and tight during the game. The third question is what players do you fear? As at Brighton. In terms of fearing players from Brighton, I would say uh, Lamptey, Ty Tariq Lamptey, but obviously he's not available for the game, I don't think. Anyway, I think he's still injured. So I'd probably say maybe Trossard cutting in off the left hand side or the right hand side, wherever he's playing, because he can cut in and whip it across nicely, so he could be a decent threat. And then also Malpai if he's on in form, but he's been a bit out of form recently, so I'm not too sure. So the fourth question is how do you think we perform this season? obviously better than Brighton's. I think despite what people may say, our season's been really good so far. In the Champions League group stage, we were unbeaten, only lost one game, won the rest, and then in the Prem, started to pick up a lot more. We've got two games in hand, this being one of them. If we win both of our games in hand, we can go top of the league with 35 points. So I think it's been a good season so far, and we could definitely win a lot of trophies. And finally, the big one. What do you think the score will be? This will be probably a thumping, but it'll be interesting to hear what he says. Finally, what do I think the score will be? I reckon it's going to be 3 0 Manchester City. I can't see really Brighton getting anything from this game, especially given that recent form. And we've just been so clinical recently, and the amount of clean sheets we're keeping, confident for the game. Um, so, yeah, 3 0 City. Also, just a big thanks to Lewis for asking me on the channel today. I appreciate it. Check out my channel if you can, Louis11. But, yeah, nice one. So yes, guys, that is going to be the video. A massive thanks to Louis11 for coming on the channel. Make sure to go sub to his uh, YouTube and follow his Instagram. They'll all be linked in the description. And so massive thanks to him. So yeah, make sure to follow my Instagram and Twitter and TikTok, all that good stuff. Follow my second channel, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye and up the Albion.